Guys, I've got a tire test for you. We're using Thor to test some 2.2 tires. We have the Trenchers by ProLine. These are the G8 compound right here. Yeah, not the Predators, the G8 compound. And here we have the Ot6 um, USD stickies. These are the green, not the red stickies. So these should be comparable, right? Yeah. I'm going to show both these tires to you on the table. Outside we go. Let's go. First, let's look at our test vehicle. This is Thor. That is a J Concepts Tucked F250 body right there. Spare time hobbies chassis. A whole lot of it of on. Got the Rift portal axles, front and back. We got Holmes SHV 800 servos. We got the Home Crawl Master Mini ESC, a 2200 kV revolver motor. Um, it's got leading arm and trailing arm. This thing is pretty darn awesome. I don't know if you would call it a belly dragger per se, but the thing does pretty darn good. And as you guys can also see, it's got four wheel steer, has a $60 Amazon dig transmission in it. That seems to be working fine. So let's get into these wheels and tires. Here we go. Now the Ot6 USD is noticeably larger. The wheels are the same Vitavon beadlock wheels for the Rift. So no difference there. Now this has the DuPont foam from Ot6 in it. This actually has a combination two stage foam. It has the 1.9 Halo inner foam stretched on the 2.2 wheel with the ProLine outer foam. So it's kind of a two stage type setup for crawling with Thor. These, you know, the DuPonts are good for bashing and absorbing hills and all that kind of stuff. But regardless of that, Ah, oh, these things are going on Thor, and we're going to hit the rocks. Let's go. First up, we got to put them on the ramp, right? Let's see what we can do here. Try to keep it crawling pace, you know. Try to make it work a little bit. A little bit of wheel speed isn't bad, but you don't want to try to race up it, Oh, look at that. Got it. Okay, see what USD's got. Try to keep something somewhat similar here. Looks like they're trying to get on up this thing. Hopefully we can break it past this point. Wow, here we go, had to use some throttle, if I can get past this, all right, nope, not going to get it. The goal of this is to simply come up, come across through here, across sideways, over through here, up through that. Now let's see what we got. It's still front steer only. Let's see what we got here. Let's look at these tires. Now, foams are obviously, you know, different and could possibly change any results you may get here, of course. I mean, but looking at everything to kind of get it. Get some side hill action. These foams here are working out really good. I really got lucky when I put these foams together. I just kind of, ooh, the sun is bright all of a sudden. Um, I kind of just uh, come up with something to get some foams in here. And it appears I turned out and done pretty good. Let's see here, definitely got some lean to it, but all right, now right here, Turn that four wheel steer on. Let that back in come around. Oh, that stood up like crazy, huh? There we go. What we got with these? Ramp was uh, not so good. I think they may actually be a bit too stiff, even though Thor is about 10 and a half pounds. It's not the same dynamics as what's on a rift, you know? 
driving, bouncing around and all that. So kind of different. All right, we got quite a bit of tire roll right there. Doesn't seem to be as accurate as the others are, but you know, that could be a foam issue. This thing is about to go over. Nope, nope. It hung on a lug and got it. Oh boy, it is so close to going over. Maybe we can get it. I'd rather it not go over. Looks like we might be all right. Settle down. No, nope. come on, settle down. There we go. Got it. Climb time sideways. Let's see what we can get going here. This is pretty darn awesome. There we go. Got that set down. This is just an awesome shot. Got to get that front end. Can we go right about here? A little bit of four wheel steer, bring that back in around. Wow. I think it's about to go over. I'm trying to stabilize this thing, that front. Tire is up in the air. Oh, wow. Got lucky on that. Lucky, luckily, it slipped just right. Man, you gotta spit that out. Climb time for Thor. Let's see what we got going here. Get this thing started. Hopefully, be on the close to the same line as best I can very different tires they are performing differently i don't want to climb that <laughs> these tires are awesome super meaty now about right here i need to get back into four wheel steer so i can get that back in to come around let's see here all right careful with my thumb Get that to come around. Get that back in. To... There we go. All right. Oh, there we go. That was actually a mess up on my part. Wow, okay. There we go. Crack of doom time. Now, Thor comes in real high on this just because it's so wide. Get that drop in. Come across up at the top there. Look at that. Look at that. And then that drops in right up here. Look at that. Yeah. Piece of cake. Okay, USDs, got to keep it high, just like I do with the trenchers. Uh, tire side roll doesn't look to be too bad. I think my biggest issue, ooh, that's beautiful. Come on, get settled down, settle down. You can tell they're a little bit bigger, I'm getting some tire rub. This should not be an issue right here. Nope. Piece of cake. Nice. Gonna do a little bit of dirt with it just for some testing purposes, but uh, that Crawlmaster Mini, I don't wanna mess that up. They are hard to get. So we're gonna try to look at just overall dirt traction. All right, so that's where we are with these. <laughs> I'm not gonna bash on this ESC. See what the trenchers can do. Try to get about the same line. Dirt likes to change so much. Wow, okay. 
they're clogging more. I'll go ahead and try another line to the right just to try to make sure I'm even on this. All right, let's ease on up this. Wow. Wow. Trenchers just pretty much ate the uh, USDs right up, huh? Gonna do a nice easy crawl right over through here. There is not much wheel speed. Oh! Oh, just reset that ESC. Okay, and we're done with these tires. I'm gonna try the trenchers and that's it. Okay, we're gonna try the same line we tried before with the USDs. Um, hopefully we don't end up with, I just don't have enough. Whoa, okay. Okay, these trenchers are uh, um, kind of surprising right now. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's go backwards. Now, if I was to do this with Thor, you know, more often, you know, and I tried some different systems in it, I would absolutely um, change some things, you know, different motor, different ESC and all that stuff. I mean, of course I would, right? Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. One more time. I want to punch it and just see if I can get it to reset here. No. <laughs> I just had to verify that for my own curiosity. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Well, what do you guys think? I think there's a clear winner on this one. On the ramp, clear, easy win. Trenchers took that. Every single climb, including Crack of Doom, all that, it was kind of a, it was kind of a toss up. So I can't give a win to either tire for those particular things. However, in the dirt, it was another clear win for the Trenchers. Um, Trenchers smoked the USDs in this test right here. They really, really did. Um, which kind of, now I do got to say, I love the look of these tires. These tires on Thor look amazing, but the trenchers for this particular test completely dominated the USDs. Anyway, guys, you post your comments down below because I know we have Proline fans and we have Ot6 fans. I'm interested to, hopefully I can see all the comments. I don't get to see them like I used to, guys. But um, anyway, comment down below your thoughts on this because uh, it was an easy win for me. Guys, check that description. I'll link up all kinds of stuff on Thor, including both sets of tires. Make sure you guys check that out. I'll see if I can find that um, Halo foam, but it's kind of two foams made together to make that work. So anyway, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching.